All right, hey guys, I'm here today with another video for you. I'm gonna try hard to make this video quick. Cause like I mentioned before in my last video, I've been recording my videos from my phone. Um, I had a camera and it comes with a little rechargeable battery. Lost, actually I didn't lose the battery. I lost the charger to it. So right now I'm trying to figure out what camera I want and stuff like that. I actually have my eye on this Nikon camera. So I'm going to look into that and then hopefully the videos and the quality or whatnot can get better. But as of right now, this is what it is. So I am here today to discuss my hair. Um, I am natural. I did my big chop in December of 2011. So it's grew or it's grown a lot since then. But I also let me put in there that I actually went to my hairdresser maybe about two months ago and I had my hair blown out the Dominicans and um, I haven't had any heat or anything to my hair or I have it you know straightened since maybe August of 2011. So I wanted to see where my length was and I also had her trim it so it could be you know fresh and just nice and healthy and all that stuff. So right now. I have conditioner in it. I've had this in since last night. I usually do a deep condition for like 30 minutes, but I was lazy and I didn't feel like washing it out and all I wanted to do was go to bed. So, and I also put a rinse in it, a, um, like a black rinse ebony. Um, and you can see that it leaked out into this, which is actually saran wrap because I ran out of shower cap so when all fails improvise it worked fine so the products that I use in my hair is the argan oil hydrating mask and this is what I used to decondition and I don't know if I said the brand but the brand is every strand and I also use the every strand argan oil shampoo I wash my hair about three times with this and then I follow that with a deep condition um, and I also use organic virgin coconut oil and what I do is I melt a little bit Dip my fingertips in it and I rub it in my scalp and I stimulate my scalp and I do that for about a good I would say like maybe 10 minutes just to get all of that circulating all in there and everything so um Yeah, as far as my hair type. I have no idea what my hair type is. I just know that my roots are extremely curly and then the ends are wavy. So if anybody knows what mixtures of hair type I have, please let me know. Um, and yeah, like I said, um, when I first started this hair journey, I was really, really scared because it was something new to me. I got my first perm when I was about eight years old. So, um trying to learn how to maintain a whole different texture was crazy I had a lot a lot of trial and errors like I had many fail moments and after a while you do pick up on things and you do learn things and I do recommend like other people say when you watch videos on YouTube you have to be patient you know what I mean sometimes there were many times where I just wanted to be like F it just I'm done I'm over it but I was like you know what I'm just gonna stick with it and I'm glad that I did and the type of person that I am is when I find something that works, I stick with it. So right now, this is my go-to for the products that I use in my hair. Um, if I find something different that works, you know, I'm not, you know, against trying new things. So I'm always on YouTube looking for new things that may work for my hair and whatnot. So, yeah, that's about it. My video is going to cut off because I don't know what's going on with this phone. So I'm just going to leave it really, really, really short. If you have any questions, um, post them below. Hopefully I didn't leave anything out. But until next time, rate, comment, and most of all, please support yourself. Smooches. Bye, guys.